Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to properly set up your edible icing sheet prints to print and cut on the silhouette if you have the software. Now in a previous tutorial I showed you how to set up these images in order to be able to cut around them. And here I'll be showing you how to actually load it up onto your machine in order to be able to cut it correctly. Now in the previous tutorial I showed you how to correctly set up your registration marks with a bit of a margin around them in order to be able to have all your registration marks printed correctly within your IC sheet. Once you have your registration marks set up, you can go ahead and double check that your print page settings is correct and set to the right printer. If you haven't seen the first part of this tutorial where I show you how to set up these images, you can go to our IGTV on Instagram and find it there or you can go to our YouTube. In that tutorial, I'll show you how to correctly set up everything. Once everything is set up, you can go ahead and print your image. You'll have three registration marks on your sheet. You have the top left one, which is a solid black square. Then beneath you have a bracket looking registration mark. And then on the other top part, you'll have another bracket looking registration mark. Please make sure to put your page onto your mat with the mat facing up. Your mat should have a little up arrow. That's the way that you will be feeding your sheet onto your silhouette cutter. Here I have a portrait, but some people have a cameo. Either way, it works the same way. Once you've properly set up your page onto your mat, you can load it with an arrow facing up and you'll press the button that has the load mat. That will load your page onto your portrait cutter. Once your image is loaded, it's ready to be cut. So just go back to your computer and click on the big blue send button that is available on your software. If you don't know where this button is, please refer to our previous tutorial so that you can see how I set up this page. Now just let your silhouette do its cutting. Once your silhouette is done cutting, you can go ahead and unload your sheet from the cutter pressing the third button from the top. Now you can go ahead and remove your image from your mat and then you can remove the background from your image and you'll see how perfectly and beautifully the cutter has cut around the pages. Be careful as you tear away the background as sometimes if you have really fine cuts it might cut away the image with it. So just be mindful and be careful as you go ahead and remove this background. And voila! You have beautiful images. Precision cut by your cutter using our edible icing sheets, our edible ink, our edible printer, and the silhouette portrait cutter. Thank you for watching.